No pain, no pain. They say you can really relax in this dentist chair. What makes some people so afraid of the dentist? And more importantly, is there any way around it? We have a story that takes on both those questions coming up a bit later. Millions of people admit being scared to death to go to the dentist, but getting sedated during dentistry is becoming more and more popular. It helps put a local woman at ease. Let's put your chair back and take a okay. good look at everything. Glenda Daft is just visiting Dr. Ronald Koenig for a quick checkup. She's usually sedated during her procedures. I knew you were nervous about it. I was, it. yes. I was very nervous. I should say the real benefit to the patient. Nervous about being aware of what's happening during hours of dental work. Because I was really terrified of thinking about it, you know, leading up to it. Glenda suffered from severe jaw pain from a condition known as TMJ. I had a lot of pain in my neck and I was really looking to have that pain relieved and um, so it was not cosmetic really initially. A lot of the back teeth had to be restored and Glenda, Glenda was actually saying well if I'm going to do those let's make my smile pretty. So this came along as an elective in the front. It was pretty extensive work that he had to do and he promised me that there wouldn't be any pain and um, I was a little skeptical of that at first but indeed there wasn't. Dr. Koenig used this computer system to restore her jaw position. And you can also see how it affects the curvature of the neck so posture and TMJ are often related. Most patients only use sedation dentistry when they undergo a lot of dental work like Glenda. No popping. Dr. Koenig says most people are fearful of dentistry because of a bad childhood experience. Glenda hopes anyone who has put off important dental care will consider sedation. Oh, why, you know, be in pain and worry when you, you don't have to. How was that tooth over here? The one Glenda just took a pill the night before her procedures and then again the oh, next morning. Right she wasn't able to drive the day of her procedures, but was back to her regular routine the following day. Most dental plans don't cover the cost, but it only runs about $10. The American Dental Association just released recently new guidelines for sedation during dentistry. You can find them under the health tab of our website.